A shrug is a gift that keeps on giving. You make this cocoon-like thing and then it just keeps giving back to you with its coziness. It's like a gentle embrace all day long, reminding you that you're endlessly loved and cherished and isn't that what we all want to feel. Hello, my sweet little toodle bug. I'm so glad you're here. I wanna share with you today a beautiful crochet shrug pattern by Janica Carter. to give a big juicy shout out to Janica for designing this and Maureen for making the sample as well as helping me out with the video tutorial. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much. Last week we introduced our knit version and you guys loved it so much and I just knew all the crocheters would be clamoring for their version. So here you go. This pattern is called Glocka which means embrace or acceptance in Irish and just like I said last week in my video for the knit version I think that is absolutely perfect because a shrug is just like a hug that you get to wear all day and who wouldn't love that? This is a quick pattern to make and it's excellent for adventurous beginner crocheters and beyond. This shrug pattern comes in three sizes which range from extra small through 5XL. So there is a wingspan to fit everybody. This is such a great wearable design that is gonna keep your arms and shoulders warm and cozy. We chose six colors of our North DK yarn to make this pattern, and the colors are limited edition, so if you click over to the shop and they're out of stock, you can use any of our DK weight yarns to make this. If you would like to download this pattern and get information on the yarn, you can do all of that at expressionfiberarts.com, and as always, we're gonna put the links in the description for you so you can head directly there. While you are on the website, go ahead and sign up for email updates. That is our special, beautiful, magical little place on the internet where you're gonna get exclusive coupon codes and free patterns and lots of little goodies for me. To make this cozy, cuddly shrug, you're gonna start by crocheting in the round for this little cuff over here and this first sleeve. Then er, you stop everything and you start working flat. So you start working back and forth for the body of the shrug. Then when you go all the way to the other side, you start working in the round again for the second sleeve and cuff. It uses just basic crochet stitches plus a few extra ones that I'm gonna be demonstrating for you today. So let's go ahead and put our bikinis on and jump right on into the deep end. I've got four stitches that I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. To work a foundation single crochet, you start with a chain two, then you insert your hook into that first chain that you worked and pull up a loop. Now we're gonna create a chain by doing a yarn over, pull through one. Now create a single crochet by doing a yarn over, pull through two. To work the next one, you're gonna turn your little piece to the side and you're gonna insert your hook under both legs of the chain you just worked and pull up a loop. Now create a chain by doing a yarn over, pull through one, and create a single crochet by doing a yarn over, pull through two. And we're just gonna continue repeating that. Turn your little thing to the side and insert your hook under both legs of the chain you just made. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Then you're gonna create a chain by doing yarn over, pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two to create your single crochet. And when you continue doing that, you get a nice stretchy foundation single crochet. To work a front post double crochet, you start with a yarn over, and instead of working into the next stitch here like you normally would, you go ahead and drop down to the stitch indicated, and you're gonna wrap your hook from front to back around that stitch yarn over and pull that through then to complete your stitch yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so if you're going to work another one yarn over and instead of working into the top of your stitch you work around the post of the stitch yarn over pull up a loop and then finish off your double crochet with a yarn over pull through two and a yarn over, pull through two. To work a single crochet decrease, we're turning two single crochets into one. So you're gonna start by inserting your hook into the stitch indicated and pulling up a loop. 
Then go ahead and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So you've turned two stitches into one single crochet. I'll show you again. Insert your hook into the stitch indicated and pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. When you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now we're going to be learning how to do a herringbone double crochet and this makes a really fun zigzaggy stitch. To get started, you're going to begin with a chain two and you're going to skip that very first stitch. We're not going to work into that one. We're going to work into the next stitch. You're going to do a yarn over and insert your hook into that next stitch. Yarn over and pull through your stitch and through the first loop on your hook. Yarn over and pull through one loop on your hook and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. So let's do another one. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop and go ahead and pull that through the first stitch as well. Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to start to see that these are leaning left, which is what creates that unique little zigzaggy look. You can see how they look a little bit different than a normal double crochet. I think this is a really fun stitch to learn. And you can just practice on a little swatch like this until you get the hang of it. And you'll have them memorized in no time. Now when you get to the end of your row, what you're going to want to do is work a normal double crochet into that final stitch, which is that chain two here on the end. So just work your normal double crochet. You are going to find the edges might be a little zigzaggy, but that will block out. So no worries there. And you can see how beautiful this stitch is. You can see how it zigzags back and forth and makes a really unique texture. And here are a few tidbits that are going to take your project to a whole new level. One thing you'll find useful is how to change colors. In order to keep clean, crisp looking rows, you're going to want to finish your old rows with your new color. And here's what that looks like. What you're going to do when you change colors is finish off your last stitch with your new color. So I'm working a double crochet. And normally you would yarn over one more time and pull through, but we're going to stop. And on that last part of the last stitch of that row, you're going to finish it off with your new color. So this row has been completely finished with the old color and we are set up and ready to start our new row completely in the new color. Another thing that will be super helpful is to block your shrug. It's going to benefit greatly from a good blocking. You just soak it in some lukewarm water, pin into shape and allow it to dry. And that's why it's important to use a natural fiber yarn when making this shrug because it's going to block out beautifully. And finally, this pattern may be addictive and you'll want to make 20 of them. It's okay. It's totally acceptable to have an entire closet or room in your house full of your crochet projects. No judgment here. And there you go, sweet friend. Armed with all these helpful tips and tricks, you should be golden to crochet your very own Glocka shrug. So go out and crochet your very own cuddly shrug so that you two can be wrapped in a gorgeous hug all day because you deserve to feel loved and this is a perfect way to love on yourself. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I will see you next week with another lovely pattern. Bye-bye for now.